Hello, orientation staff. Uh, my name is Kevin Farragher. Hi, I'm Latoya Fitzpatrick. Hi, I'm Carling Stepniak. Hello, I am Terrence Eubanks. And today we're going to be covering some basic things that you need to know for living at UTC Housing. Welcome to the Johnson O'Bear Square. For those of you who have not signed up for housing yet, you can go to utc.edu slash housing and fill out the application form. That form comes with a $25 fee. You also, after that step, will put in a $225 deposit for housing. After you do those steps, you'll be able to go into our RMS system and choose a room. If all of the rooms are full, you'll need to go on to utc.edu slash housing and sign up on our waiting list. Welcome to Bowling Apartments. For check-in, you'll go to the complex that you've been assigned a room. Then you'll be given your key. <laughs> Protect yourself against petty theft. Talk to your parents about what their homeowner's insurance will cover for you at UTC. If it doesn't meet your needs, you can look into renter's insurance. Also, remember to lock your front doors and patio doors so that no one can come into your apartment and steal your items. Also, if you're walking on campus at night, take advantage of the blue light system. You can always contact campus police at 423-425-HELP, which is 4357. For all your expensive items, be sure to write down your serial numbers and put them in a safe place, just in case you need those later on. Lock Miller Volleyball Court. Let's talk real quick about what you should bring the first day that you come to the complex. Remember, less is more and all of the apartments come furnished. You can always buy something once you get to Chattanooga. In each of the bedrooms, you'll get a desk, a dresser, and a bed. On North Campus, which includes Stagmire, Johnson O'Bear, Lock Miller Apartments, and Bowling, you'll get an extra long twin bed. On South Campus, which includes Gary, DeCosimo, Stoffel, Walker, and UCF, you'll get a full-size bed if you have a private room and an extra long twin bed if you share a room with someone else. Get with your future roommates to figure out who's going to bring pots, pans, cleaning supplies, and other things that you'll need for the commons area. Let me reiterate, less is more. Son of what not to bring to UTC campus includes alcohol. UTC is a dry campus and no alcohol is allowed on campus. Plastic lamps or halogen lamps or medusa lamps are prohibited from housing because they cause fires. Candles are also a fire hazard. Please do not bring those. And leave all weapons at home. They are not permitted on UTC's campus. Welcome to the Walker UCF Courtyard. Behind me is the Res Life Office where you can find the assistant directors for North and South Campus and the Walker UCF RD. If you ever need anything, you can also get help here. Each floor or section of a complex has resident assistants, RAs, that are here to help you with any of your needs. They can help you get connected with resources on campus or just get plugged in. If you ever need anything, please talk to your RA or RD, your resident director. They can always help you. Now we will go over the six points of the resident creed. Point number one, UTC is very diverse you will have the opportunity to meet and get to know a wide range of students. We encourage you to step out of your comfort zone and get to know as many people as possible. I'm sure the results will be a rewarding experience. The second point on the creed is to make wise decisions. Should you choose not to make wise decisions, you will face consequences. The third part of the UTC resident creed is to talk to your roommates, not at your roommates. If you need to leave them a message, do not use Facebook or their dry erase board. If you're having an issue with your roommate, contact your RA or your RD. Remember your roommate agreement. It's a document that you will make as soon as you get here at UTC housing. Make sure you reference it whenever there's an issue with your roommate or in your apartment. Number four of our residence creed is that smoking is absolutely not allowed in any of our residence halls. If you want to smoke on campus, you are required to be at least 25 feet away from any entrance or exit in our residence halls and in our academic buildings. To find a smoking designated area, contact your RA or the resident director, or look for a smoking receptacle like this one. Point five of the resident creed states that health and safety inspections are done once a month to ensure you're living in a safe, healthy, 
and clean environment. Your RA will give you 24 hour notice before inspection occurs. Right now, we're located in the main housing office down at Stacy Town Center on South Campus. Number six, if you follow all of these things, we're pretty sure you're going to have a great year. Thank you for your time. This concludes our video. On behalf of the UTC Residence Life and Housing Office, we look forward to working with you this next year. One, two, three. Go, Go Max! Do you want to do that again or is that? I think that was good. Good play.